Welcome back to Times Radical. Today, we have our little friend here, little Hans. We're going to give him an overhaul. So, try and wind, wind him with the crown and it feels frozen like he's all wound up. Dial looks like it's in, he's in great shape. And he's supposed to have these eyes that tick back and forth. And yeah, they're not doing that right now. So let's pop, pop it open and see what we got. This is like a stainless steel case back with a base metal case frame. Let's get this bracelet off first. Strap is very tough. Don't even know about the spring bar. It's actually cracking on me. So I'm going to go for it and rip it off. Seems like it's made out of cardboard, actually. I don't even know how they got this type of spring bar on. Oh yeah, look at that, so strange, huh? We'll have to get a nice strap for this. Okay, so he's moving. There we go. Spring bars are coming off. We can save the buckle, but yeah, there's no way this strap would work. It's just too old. I don't know anything about this watch. Piet, maybe it's a French thing. I'm not sure. But I always wanted to see one of these types of watches. Kind of like the clocks where the cat's eyes go back and forth. Or those watches with the images of a intimate encounter. Swiss made, pretty cool. Looks like the dial's a little loose. And the movement, I mean, it's nothing special. Giving the balance a little, a little push. I mean, I don't know, this watch is even meant to be overhauled, but we're gonna do it anyways. I kind of like. <laughs> I kind of like this guy. It's pretty fun, huh? I wonder what he's looking at. I mean, little Hans. I mean, he's got a lot of nose hairs, or maybe that's a mustache. All right, so let's do it. Let's pull the hands off first. His hand might be even riveted on. This is gonna be a nightmare. Wonder why it's not even winding. It's full, must just be fully wound. 
Oh man, this pallet fork is just. This is gonna be a little bit of a nightmare. But we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna use a little force, huh? That was tough. That was some tough love. Yeah, that's what it took. Just a fun little watch to overhaul. Jeez. There we go. Gets me every time. Just set these hands aside, huh? So looks like we have here, 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 and here. Those are the dial clamps. Oh, uh, we're in for a rough one, huh? Just had to get into this project. See how I'm doing that. Just like that. Lifted them up. And we can just take off one side. Uh oh. Little Hans got no more eyes. These are his eyes. So this is directly connected to the pallet fork. It might even be the entire pallet fork. I don't know, I don't know about this overhaul. This is something I've never done before. Such a watch was probably never meant to be overhauled, but we're gonna do it. Little dial washer. To keep the hour wheel down so it won't get disengaged. And we're going to get a movement holder. This is the only one I got, actually. Make sure I'm not pinching the balance. Clamp this watch in safely. 
Boom. Okay, there we go. Secured. So if you're into this type of stuff, like and subscribe helps me out. Helps me keep doing it. Keeps me going. Difficult, difficult. Okay, so that's like a, some type of dial side plate. It's got some screws. That's cool. So far, so good. I don't know about this thing though. Oh, whoa, well. Just chipped off some of that paint. This is very tricky. This is like, maybe it's like a hand. It's attached to the Pinion of the pallet fork, so I might actually have to pull that off. Fingerprints all over this thing. Yeah, that's okay. I'm putting my own on there too. All right, we're taking this off. I'm hoping I could put that thing back on. It's definitely not meant to be overhauled. Look at that. I'm gonna have to repaint this. They just did little markers he put a black marker for his eyes. He got the white and the black. All right. I see you. Take off this big hour wheel. Cannon pinion. This was like a minute pinion. It's just there. I wonder where the actual cannon pinion is. I don't think this watch was meant to be taken apart. I know I said that before, but it's got screws though. It's not all pressed and riveted together. So that gives me hope.
So let's take the power off this watch. Jeez. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, good. There we go. So there's not a balanced jewel here. It's just like a metal plate. Still spring in there, though. There we go. There we go. Opposite thread, crown wheel screw, typical. Now we're just gonna put this stuff directly in the basket. We knows where we know where it all goes. It's all kind of one piece too, so. The screw here has a step, rides on the crown wheel, nothing's finished. And even this click spring holds down part of the main plate. And hold the ratchet wheel down. Super basic watch. Pretty fun. Just gonna do all the screws here. We're gonna remove the balance first though. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at this screw, so long. Ooh-wee, look at that. Okay, I didn't think this far ahead, actually. So we're gonna do makeshift system here. Makeshift little balance tack. Boom. Store that for the time being. So, pallet screw is short. Balance, pallet, Gear train. There's a gear train bridge. Kind of medium, long. So we got to remember that, you know. This will be for the balance here. This will be for the pallet fork here. This one will go here for the 
bridge. And there was this one over, over here maybe. Long one over there, so. That's a little reference. Oh, it's gear train bridge. Actually gonna put these gear train bridge screws in their own basket. I'll put them with the gear train, but I'll leave this with the balance right now. But we gotta see how this actually works. So here's our barrel. Looks like it's one of the setting levers is actually setting lever, setting wheel actually on the underside of the main plate. So and right here is the tip of the barrel arbor goes into this little tiny hole there. Okay, okay, I don't know if this thing should be disassembled. I'm gonna leave the main spring assembled. You know, seems to be working, seems to be working fine. So I'm gonna leave this main spring barrel assembly together and take a look at these wheels they're all stuck that's why the entire thing wasn't working so that's how it goes huh god gotta remember all this So this is basically how the gear train fits together. Like that. Gotta make sure you get the right footage. Put all this stuff away. Let's see if our pallet fork comes out. Oh no, doesn't come off. His little eyes. This rivet. That's tough. You know, that's okay though. We can still get those eyes back on there. All right, let's clean this watch. Okay, so we're out of the cleaning machine. And I know, I know. 
I didn't take the setting mechanism apart. And it's cringy, whatever you want to call it. That's fine. But this watch is for fun. And it's all cleaned up. And we're greasing it now. So, so that's all good. It's a good way to do it. Just for personal stuff, if you like something simple like this. Simple yet. This watch was just made for who knows what. It's a kid's watch. And then there's that set lever spring. We're gonna bleed a little grease down in there. That. I'm gonna put some in the sliding pinion. And the square of the stem. A little bit on the face of the winding pinion here too. That's where it rubs on the main plate. We're gonna flip them around. We're going to put a little grease on the yoke and the set lever. Get it right in there. Now this is a little thick, heavy grease. Make sure we don't get too much in there either. But we do want it there. And I'll put some right between these teeth. So there we have it. So let's see if we can put this <laughs> Let's see if we can put this watch back together. Is it even possible? Jeez, there's no jewels. There's like nothing. The cannon pinion is actually this right here. This cannon pinion is actually on the barrel. So that's cool. This is like the clutch. Let me show you. So this here actually connects Let's see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so this outer 
toothing on this wheel connects to this setting wheel here. And this smaller toothing here goes through the dial side and connects to the hour wheel. And you can see it's actually friction fit to the barrel arbor. So I'm glad I didn't take this thing apart because I, I don't want to ruin it, but that's how you go from, you know, winding then to setting the watch. And then when the watch is running, the transfer to the display side. So that's kind of cool. When we could be rough with this watch, you know, it's just, this watch has got big parts, big old teeth. I'm gonna give it a little dry clean. Still like fingerprints everywhere. Just a fun watch, that's all. Can see a little bit of wear right here, obviously. And that's okay. So, Let's grease up. Boom. Just like that. Drop some oil down. Where it needs to go. Even put a little bit inside. Put a little bit inside there too. You know, this kind of weaves. You know, you got that gap. You have this gap right here. Anyway. I don't know how much weaving it does. That the outer wheel just lines up right with it. And if you want to see, just do like this. So that's cool. We found the Canon pinion on this watch. Now we got to grease the top of the arbor there. in there. Now we gotta get in this gear train. That's, that's what is really bugging me. I, I, I don't know, this whole, this, this one giant main plate here that does the whole, that does all the work. So let's see if I can remember. Okay. Look at that. Look at that escape wheel. Not really any teeth on it. It's engaging with these little pins instead of 
palace stones. I believe it goes here. It goes right there. That's difficult. But we got it. We got it right in there. Hmm. But, you know, this wheel probably goes under it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we'll put this in last. Wow. Did we just get that together? Yeah, we just did that. Well, I just did that. But that's not, you know, the least of our worries. That's not, you know, this that's a that is the least of our worries at this point. I got to get this bridge on. So this is where things get a little bit hairy, you know. It's one wheel. It's two wheels. Three wheels, actually. Oh. Wow. That was much easier than I expected. Excuse the lighting.
So let's start. So let's start turning these screws down, huh? Jeez, that was incredible. We can't test for backlash because that little, our little issue with the pallet fork still being in there, but. But what a watch, huh? don't even know how I remember where this stuff goes. All right. Time for the pallet fork. Boom. Wow. So nice, so nice when it comes together easy like that, especially on a watch like this. Wow, look at that. Will you look at that? Let's wind them up. Oh, we can't wind them up. We need to put the winding. I'm getting ahead of myself, you guys, come on. Come on, you guys. Get me too excited over here. We still got all these parts. Look at this. This is kind of like a dial washer too. I didn't notice that. It was on the hour wheel. Okay. Ratchet wheel, boom. Ratchet wheel screw. Now it's turning, huh? So I just jam my tweezer right here into the teeth, give it a little bit extra crank. Now, take the crown wheel, put it right where it should go. So, so if you want to play with watches, you got to find yourself a, a watch like this. Maybe you don't need the whole eye ticks going back and forth, but get yourself a manual wind watch, you know? Just take it apart, put it back together, see if you have the dexterity for it. See if you actually enjoy doing this, because it's not, it's not for everyone. Oh, it's the reverse. Reverse thread. Crown wheels usually reverse thread. You know why? Because when you wind the watch, you turn it this way and the wheel goes like that. And if there's any friction, it would unscrew the screw. So in order to tighten the screw, it's a reverse. 
when you, it's a little counterintuitive when you're going at it. And a lot of times they'll mark, the factories would mark the reverse threads with uh, a line on each side of the center. So. So we oiled the crown wheel. Now we just need the click spring. Click spring's nice. It's a good steady pin there. The steady pin right there. So we know it goes like that. And the steady pin will fit into this hole here. And the screw will go through there, down there. So let's just get situated right there. You can hold it down, snap them into place. We'll get our screw. Now we got to click, 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 click. But I do want to oil that click just because this watch is so raw. You know, it's totally unfinished. I don't want it to wear out, you know? Good way to do it also is greasing between these teeth. Then it'll spread around. Look at that. <laughs> so funny, this watch is funny. All right, now let's look at this uh, pallet fork, huh? Looks good, it looks like the pallet fork It's nice, the wheels are advancing. Talk, 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 talk. But we're gonna lube up that pallet fork. This uh, 9010 stuff. And take a close look. Give it a little drop there. A little drip drop. Spread it. And give it another one too. Okay. Now Use my auto oiler. 
I'm gonna drop in some oil right where that balance goes. Nice, okay. Now let's see if I could weave this. Balance wheel in there. Oh, there we go. We got some live action. <laughs> Tell you what. Yeah. All right. Should be holding down that bridge. Nice. Boom. We're ticking full speed. Okay. I like that. You can even wind him up a little more. Look at that little ratchet action. Let's fully wind this guy. Like it even has like a little serial number. I can't even. Can't even read. Give this guy a full wind, huh? Oh, we didn't even oil the gear train. Look at that. Tick, 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 tick. Oh man. That makes me happy, you know? So many, so many, so many things drive me crazy. This, this world. Just give me a watch. Let me fix a watch. Okay, so first off, boom. That would be the uh, escape wheel.
and we're just going to fill it up, up, you know? Being very generous with the oil. Now we're going to do the HP 1000. Um, there we go, another HP 1000. Another HP 1000. Yeah. Right on, right on little Hans. Now we gotta do the downside. Hmm. Something's up with the dial side. It's probably my fingers touching everything. All right, we're all lubed up. So I forgot to do the balance. Forgot to oil the balance on this side. Jewel there. You know, this little clip, these little clips are no fun.
There we go. Flawless. Now we turn it around. Oil on both sides of the balance. It means we're ticking. Dial up, dial down. All right, let's hit the dial side now. Dial side assembly. Okay, dial side assembly is easy. It's gonna lube up this center post here. Put our minute pinion on there. So the minute pinion, you can see how this all engages. Setting wheel, cannon pinion attached to the arbor, minute pinion attached here as well. So when you set the watch, Boom, you're setting the watch. It's moving independently of the timekeeping. And you have your hour wheel sits freely over the minute pinion, but it's being controlled by this part of the cannon pinion. Very cool, very cool little design here. Rudimentary kids watch. Boom, there we go. So the paint totally slipped off of his eyes, so we're gonna have to do some repainting. We'll be getting in touch with my inner artist. So I just ran to the house real quick. Get some acrylic paint, get some, get the good stuff, you know? So let's, yeah, let's make sure, let's make sure we do this right. I did not think a watch like this was going to give me so much headache or so much pleasure. This stuff dries up pretty quick. But you know, that's just a little primer. We're going to give him some light pearl. He's got to have a little sparkle in his eye. All right, so here's little Hong's eyes. But you know, I'm not quite done yet. I think little Hans needs to have a little edge.
And there we go. Those are going to be his eyes. I don't know what he's doing after school, but it's probably not homework. So the hardest part of this job, I believe, is going to get the, his eyes back onto this pinion. I don't know how to get it off, you know? But we're going to probably glue it on somehow. But let's just start by getting this plate on here first. Then we'll know Then we'll know a little bit more as we go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and take the power off because I can't have his eyes moving as I'm trying to fix them to the, to the pallet fork. But I'm glad to see this watch working very well. Okay, so I ended up taking a brooch here, cutting brooch, and I opened up the hole right there. And I've just pressed his eyes right onto that rivet. So I got some super glue and this is how I'm going to do it. It's like putting on a hand or something. I just... just barely pressed him on. It was terrifying, honestly. I didn't even want the camera on me. So hopefully this works. Super glue here. So you're gonna put the super glue on some wood.
And we're just going to hope and pray. And we get little Han's eyes back on safely. That's all we can do. Now let's let them dry. I can actually maybe reinforce the glue with a little bit of chalk. Still need to let it dry. I think his eyes might be touching. We're getting away with a lot here today, actually. So I don't want to push it. I don't want to push my luck. So looks like looks like we did okay. So far so good. Let's do these dial in hands. <laughs> Look at our little Hans.
It's going to crimp his Got to crimp this dial down. Very resilient watch here. It's <laughs> so far so good. All right. Let's case them up. And there we have it.
A little Hans. And we still got the spring bars too. So we'll have to find a nice strap for this little guy. So it looks like our little friend here is going with the black leather strap. It's the only thing that fits him right now. So here's little Hans. Here's little Hans keeping it radical. Time's radical. <laughs> 